what if I told you a man decided to fake his own death, elaborate scheme for one reason, to not pay child support, put up the picture full mass. Dead beat dad. Man fakes his own death, avoid to avoid paying $100,000 in child support. Kentucky is where this happened. Jesse E. Kiff tried to dodge $100,000 in outstanding child support payments he owed to his ex-wife by hacking a death registry to fake his own death. In an elaborate hacking scheme, Kiff accessed the Hawaii death registry system using the credentials of a medical doctor living in another state and created a case for his own death. He quote, assigned himself as the medical certifier and certified that case, which meant that he would be listed as deceased in several government databases, stated the agreement. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Now, before I go on to the next, well, layer of this, understand for him to even have this knowledge, it means he did research. So while we could talk about the execution of this, in order to even get to the starting line, you have to do a certain amount of prerequisite research to know this is the process to go through. So he's putting significant energy, focus, and learning into doing one thing to avoid taking care of his child. All right, uh, the shenanigans, his shenanigans then end with taking his, uh, t- uh, faking his death to avoid child support. As part of the plea deal, the very much alive father also confessed to using credentials he stole to hack private businesses and governmental and corporate networks. He then attempted to sell access to these networks to the criminals online, according to court documents. The 39 year old from Somerset, Kentucky, got away with it for nearly nearly a year, probably, probably longer, until he was indicted in November 2023, thanks to a multi-agency operation that stretched from Vermont to Hawaii and involved the FBI, according to a press release. Kiff has now agreed to pay restitution to all parties that he wronged, including the now $116,000 in back child support to his ex-wife, more than $75,000 to governmental and corporate networks. Additionally, he agreed to forfeit his electronic devices and $16,218 in gold and silver coins. He soon could face up to seven years behind bars and an additional penalty of $500,000. So he went from having to pay 100,000 to over 600,000 when you combine everything required. Why? Why? This scheme was so elaborate, it took a multi-agency operation that included various state investigative powers and the FBI in order to catch this one individual who simply did not want to pay back pay of $100,000 to his ex-wife. You know, let me say this. The mother, okay, whatever he did not pay, that means the mother had to take care of, all right? And if the mother didn't take care of it and she had him on a child support regimen, that means the taxpayers had to subsidize the rest. Uh, that's the normative way that it works uh, per state. But why would you want to be deceased? Not simply the money part, but also the part that matters as well, having time with your child. Because see, if you're dead, you can't do that either. And obviously, you weren't concerned about that part of the process of parenting. Because you would have preferred for, I assume, your ex-wife and your child to think that you were no more. All right, 
Jackson, thoughts here. I had to keep it on mute because I couldn't stop chuckling and laughing. They, I ain't going to lie to you. Now, hear me out. Give me a second. I'm low-key inspired by this guy, okay? Now, it's it's for the right reasons, though, okay? It ain't okay. got nothing to do with the child support and the baby and none of that. It's got to do with the power of determination, man. When there's a will, there's a way. This dude put together an unbelievably elaborate scheme, and he succeeded. He got caught. He didn't get away with it. But you know what I'm saying? That is kind of on par with some of the greatest things I've ever accomplished in my life. So if this man can do something for such an ill, terrible reason, then look, all of you out there listening, let this inspire you that you can accomplish your dreams, too. I ain't going to lie to you. You got to have a silver lining out of it somewhere. And then when you saw the brother's eyes, he looked manic. Those Because I didn't see the picture before I checked the story before we got on there. But I seen those eyes. I was like, Oh, he been up for like 17 days straight, just thinking he ain't never gonna get caught and thinking that he can do anything. Uh, but yeah, no, this is uh this is this is an incredible story. Definitely yeah. glad that he didn't get away with it. Truly. Yeah, definitely glad he didn't get away with it. Yeah. Um, and hopefully he does not inspire others to try that foolishness. I, I, exactly, uh, exactly. And others will be uh, you know, I guess a multi-state agency and the FBI will have to get involved again. All right. Yeah, exactly. It's it's uh it's a lot. 